Susan over at the Cozy Condo. How are you doing today? It's Sunday. It's a beautiful spring day here in Virginia and I thought I would share with you some things I've been hauling for uh, probably a month. You know, I, I don't know how long. Just to pick up a little bit here, a little bit there. Um, this past Thursday, my mom and I went to the new Hobby Lobby that is closest to me. It's not close close but it's over where my mom lives. So we buzzed into there and I thought that I would see some Easter stuff, but man, oh man, there was only one row left of Easter. And it was just you know, like plastic eggs and baskets and grass, that sort of thing. Really wasn't anything. I got one thing and I'll show you um, what it is, but I was shocked. But it's a lovely Hobby Lobby. You know, it's it's big. It, it went into a place that was used to be a baby's R Us. So it's laid out to kind of the opposite of the Hobby Lobby that I went to in Virginia Beach. The floor plan is just opposite. So I, I did manage to spend a little bit of money there. So uh, that's that was good. And my mom bought me a birthday present there. So I'll show you that. So I just thought you might like to chat with me and see what I bought and see how, what my plans are for using it. So anyway, let's get on with it. Let's cut the chit chat. And oh, Bodie's laying right here by me because he loves me. He loves me. The first thing I bought, and this was at a specialty shop in a nearby town. Um, this shop sells antiques and gift items. And I thought this was such a pretty forsythia wreath. And I do have it hanging on my front door now and it looks so pretty. It was a little on the pricey side and, but I thought, you know, I thought I could use it for several years, unless the birds destroy it by putting a nest in there. I have to keep an eye on that. But I, I, I love the whimsical flow of the forsythia around it. So I got that from my front door and that was the only thing I got from that little shop. Um, it's a nice, fun shop. It's called Wharf Hill. It's in Smithfield, if you're anywhere near the area. But um, it is kind of a pricey place. Now, I will show you what I got at Hobby Lobby, I think. Let me see. Yes, I will show you. <laughs> I can't remember. Okay, the first thing I got, you know, I'm trying to go with the blue and white. So I purchased this blue and white ginger jar they the day when we went on Thursday tabletop and um, the picture stuff was 50% off so I got this it was $44.99 so I got it for half price and I thought it was really pretty and a nice addition to my blue and white and I also what else did I get I thought I had it in order. I'm sorry. Um, oh, here it is. Right in front of me. Right in front of me. I just got this little, um, I don't, it's not a riser, just a little tray, I guess. I liked it because it had the little bead work on it. And it was $15.99, which is to me a little high, but it was 50% off. But I have a candle that my son, gave me for Christmas, so I put that on there, and then I just cover it up with the cloche when I'm not burning the candle and put it on my coffee table. So, um, well, yeah, there we go. I just needed something like that to dress up a candle on my coffee table. And we, my mom bought me, I hope I can get this picture in the frame. It's big. I got this for my bedroom. Well, my mom bought it for me for my birthday. I don't know how well you can see it because I can't see the camera with it in front of me. Um, 
I think it's really pretty. My bedroom walls. Stop. Lodi's trying to mess up stuff. Um, my bedroom is kind of a green, sage green color, and I thought this would be really pretty. I'm going to hang it over my dresser. Well, my husband's going to hang it over my dresser. Um, and it was $69.99, but 50% off. I just thought it was so pretty. And if I get tired of it in the bedroom, I think it's a piece that you can use most anywhere in your home. So I can move it around. It's kind of heavy, it doesn't look like it would be heavy, but it is. At another antique shop near me, I my sister and I went there yesterday and I purchased, Bodie's trying to eat them, these florals. I got two stems of these. They look like little um the florals that you, the flat like the flowers you see up on, on a tulip tree when it's blooming in the spring. Although I think the lady called them magnolias, but they don't look like magnolias to me. But what do I know? And then I got this oops. This deeper one, which is really pretty. And my sister bought them too, so I'm anxious to see how she has them arranged. I was gonna put them in a crock, or I did have them in a crock, but I'm not sure it looks so good in there. But they're really pretty. And they were kind of an investment. They were not what I would call cheap. But anyway, and then I bought another thing while I was there. You know how I like to collect white porcelain or white porcelain, ceramic, whatever you want to call it, pieces. I bought this. It doesn't have a name, uh, you know, a maker or anything on it. And it was $18, so I don't even know how old it is, but I thought, I like the shape. I thought it was really pretty and I could put flowers from the yard in there if I want. So I grabbed it. Now, after I took my mom home from Hobby Lobby, I, I said, oh, I'm gonna swing into Kirkland's just to see what they have. I had an idea um, that I wanted to get a couple pillows because my pillows um, on the couch were looking kind of sad. So I did go in there with that in mind and I had a certain pillow in mind for it, but I didn't get that pillow. I purchased these pillows. I purchased two of them. They're, you can flip them over to either side. And the reason I purchased them is they were marked down to $12.97 and you can't beat that for a pillow. And I thought even if I only use them a little bit on my couch, they would make great inserts for um, some pillows that I was re gonna replace. They were the pillows that I had made when we bought the couch and the inserts were just shot. So for $12.97, I said, okay, they're mine. I brought them home. And while I was there, I also saw this. I think this was $14.97. And I had a little hook in my kitchen next to my pantry, but it was real small. And I just liked the way this one looked. And I have a apron that my grandmother made me when I was first married. So, oh, my ring light just went out. I don't know what happened. Um, and it looks really pretty on there. My granny made it. So I was been married, it'll be 47 years in a couple days. So it's old, but I still use it. And then also while I was there, I bought this, it's dark blue. You can't really see the color very well. And it's got leather tassels. I saw Crystal Tara bought one on her um, shopping haul video. And I liked it because I like the leather tassels. And I don't think she bought blue. I think she bought black. I'm not even sure what color she bought. It came in black, blue, natural, and white. So I can't remember what she bought. But I put him, let me show you. I put it around this little rabbit that I have sitting on an end table. And I think it looks really cute. 
Oh my goodness, Bodie's bringing in a sock from the laundry. <laughs> I forgot one thing that I did get at Hobby Lobby. I bought this little mirror. I thought it was kind of unique in the shape and the design of it. And I had hoped to use it in my secretary to put behind something in the back and put something in front of it. But sadly, it's too tall for the shelf. And so I'm using it somewhere else and it looks really good. I have it in front, no, I have it behind two copper candlesticks and it looks really good. This was $24.99, which who would pay $24.99 for it? But again, it was half price. I think I remembered everything from Hobby Lobby now. I ordered this picture from, I believe it was Decor Steels. This was when I was still down and out and on the couch and just surfing the internet. And I saw this on Decor Steels and I just thought it was so pretty because it looks so antique looking with the color of the black and the, um, the rubbed canvas. And it, it's just a canvas, very light. And I'm, I really don't remember how much I paid for it. It came in different sizes. I think this might have been one more size smaller and a size or two larger. And let's see, where am I? Oh, another thing I ordered was um, from this YouTuber. Her name is Jessica Giffen. I'm sure a lot of you watch her. If you don't, Oh man, this girl, she can decorate. She, I just love her style. I love the things she creates. She's probably one of my, she rates right up there, one of my favorite um, YouTubers. She's a young girl with two small children and she just does a super job. But she designed and was selling these um, shirts. She designed it and she had like, this is long sleeve. I think she had a short sleeve one and a sweatshirt. I'm not sure. There was a couple um, different designs to choose from, but they all had the same um, graphic on it. And Brenda and I are going this weekend, this coming up weekend, we're leaving Thursday, um, to a vintage market in Charlotte, what's outside of Charlotte in Concord. I can't wait. I've never been to one of these huge vintage market. It's at the Cabarrus, I think is how you say it. Cabarrus Arena in Concord, North Carolina. And so I wanted this to wear to the vintage market. So that'll be fun to wear. I need to wash it. Otherwise I'd have it on now, but I have, I just got it yesterday and I have to wash it. So at this vintage market, in Concord, it's not too far from a huge um, antique mall. I think I've told you about it, the depot at Gibson Mill. If you watch Sky from House and Home, she goes there quite frequently. And we are also gonna hit that place up too. So we, we have a lot of stops we're gonna make and hopefully come home with some goodies that I can share with you. But anyway, this is my, I'm going to the market shirt. All right, back to the other things, which I'm getting near the end. I'm getting near the end. It seemed like I had a lot, but they're all little things. So I was at um, Target and I bought this. Let me take these out. Watering can, it's hearth and hand. And I just put it, put these little florals in it and I have it hanging on my peg um, rack right there by the front door. And I'll probably use it. I have some pansies sitting on a bench on my front porch, so I'll probably use it today to water my pansies. And then I, I bought another hearth and ham item. This crock that I use for my wooden utensils. And it was... Ooh, $12.99 and they had three sizes. One really big one. I'm not sure if this was the small or the medium. I'm honestly, I can't remember, but um, I had a huge one, but I had no need for the huge one. This was perfect for my utensils. 
And I believe that is all I hauled. I'll, I'll finish and I'll say, oh, I forgot to show them such and such. But uh, it's just stuff I've kind of been accumulating in the last few weeks. As you noticed, not much Easter stuff. Oh, I want to show you the plate. I did get it. Um, Um, it was up on the mantle. When I went to Hobby Lobby, I told you there wasn't much Easter stuff. And I had been wanting an Easter plate with just blue and white because I have a lot of blue and white up on my mantle with my white bunnies, which you'll see when I do my um, home tour. I thought I'll never find one. I looked on Amazon and I couldn't find one, but I found this there at Hobby Lobby. It was $9.99, 40% off exactly what I wanted. If I could have designed it, this is what it would have looked like. And I have it up there. I have it kind of sitting in front of, I'll show you, um, a big platter that I have up there. So I was tickled to death to get this and saw it as soon as I walked in. And like I said, their Easter stuff was so limited. I the, This Hobby Lobby had been open for, I think four weeks. And I didn't go right at first because I knew that it would be mobbed. And I was just shocked at how little Easter stuff they had. I guess everybody was waiting for Hobby Lobby to open and they took advantage of it. <laughs> or either they didn't order enough, I don't know. But anyway, I got what I wanted. So uh, when I, I'll take the camera down and show you how I have it. But I think that's all I've got. Sometimes I do a haul and I think, oh, I forgot to show them such and such and such and such. I did make one huge purchase two weeks ago. Huge purchase. I bought a new car. Yes, I've been wanting a Subaru Outback probably for over a year. I had a 2016 Rogue and I loved it. I loved it, but there's something about the Outback. That was my ultimate car that I wanted. So after I was up and about after my surgery, the first thing I did, we went to the Subaru dealership and I ordered it. And it took about three or four weeks for it to come in. And I got it two weeks ago. I'm still learning all the gadgets. It's got more gadgets than my little pea brain can figure out, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I, I take the book and I, I read one section and then I go out in the car and I figure it out. And then I'll come back and I'll read something else. And then I forget what I read, but I really do like it. It's a nice car. It's a nice ride. And it's the car I'll be taking to go to the vintage market. So I'm hoping that I can film a little bit at the vintage market. I'm, you know, not having ever been there. I don't even know what the place is. It's in an arena, so I'm assuming it's very large. And I um, I don't know how crowded it'll be. We're gonna go on a Friday, so I don't think it'll be as crowded as if it were Saturday or Sunday, but still, it's gonna be crowded. And I'm just hoping that I can maybe just film a little bit so y'all can see what something like that looks like if you haven't been to one. And I know there's a lot of my viewers that live down that way. And there's also a lot of YouTubers that live down there. So who knows? Maybe I'll run into Sky from House and Home or, or Jen from Cook, Clean and Repeat. You just never know who you're going to see. But I think it's going to be fun and it's going to be a fun weekend. And I'm really looking forward to seeing my son because I haven't seen him since, well, since Christmas. But, um, Seems like longer than that since I was laid up times to still. So until then, I guess I'll sign off. I do want to do my spring Easter home tour. I don't know whether I'll do it this week or next week. Um, we'll just see. I, I guess I'll wait and see what happened at the vintage market. I might be only take be able to take a few clips and I can incorporate that with the uh, um, home tour. But I did have my ceilings painted this last week. My oh my, I am just squirreling all over the place. Woo, woo, woo. Our ceilings were painted the builder color, kind of the off-white that they paint everything. And we painted the walls, but we never painted the ceilings because we just, just didn't feel like we could do it. And, you know, because my walls are that rough texture. So this man did a great job. Took him all week and he did the, uh, 
crown molding and re it. And he did a wonderful job. And it's called, he painted it extra white and it's just beautifully. It just makes the room so bright and pops. It's, I just had no idea how, and I had no idea how dirty the ceilings look. So at the close of this video, I'll put a picture of the ceiling half painted with the white and the ugly old off white that had aged over eight years. Cause we've been here, it'll be almost nine years in June. Uh, it will be nine years in June. So you'll see what that was. So I'll just put those clips in there. But um, until next time, you guys take care. I hope you enjoyed my little haul. It was just kind of odds and ends and random things. And I just thought I'd show them to you because I hadn't done a haul in a while and hadn't had a really, we haven't really chit chatted much. So I hope y'all are doing well and enjoying the weather getting warmer and daylight saving time with the days being longer. So until next time, you take care and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.